In Georgia, an Atlanta-based grand jury indicted Donald Trump and others on state charges for allegedly trying to overturn the former president's electoral loss in 2020. This week, the judge issued a partial dismissal and dropped six of the 41 counts, including three against Trump, citing the lack of required detail but most of the indictment is still intact. A Friday ruling by that same judge will allow Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis to stay on the case, despite accusations she had a conflict of interest because of her relationship with the special prosecutor. It is a gift to the defense, I believe, uh, as they will use this as they talk about uh, whether or not the case has merit or whether or not it was brought for other reasons. In Florida, a federal case focuses on Trump's handling of classified documents. The former president's lawyers tried to persuade a judge to throw out the case because of the supposed vagueness of the law he was charged under. On Thursday, the judge rejected that claim. Although it's not impossible for a federal judge to basically invalidate a statute on the theory that it is too vague to be enforced, that happens very, very rarely. In New York, Trump faces state charges related to a hush money payment to an adult film star. Jury selection for that trial was scheduled to start on March 25th, but could be delayed. I'll be here during the day and I'll be campaigning during the night. And then in Washington, D.C., there's a federal election interference case related to Trump's actions on January 6, 2021. The former president has pleaded not guilty in every one of these cases. Reporting in Washington, I'm Julia Benbrook.